It's sectional semifinal action tonight on WOSN High School Boys Basketball Action. We are here at the Alumni Fieldhouse high above Reisner Court as USV hosts Fort Recovery. Looking forward to a terrific matchup here tonight on WOS and good evening everyone alongside your Brad Stober, I'm Patrick Kamler. The road to Dayton is upon us. USV and a little bit of a change this year as the start for the sectional semifinals. Uh, teams get to host a home game. It'll be interesting to see uh, how uh, that impacts the home team as opposed to just playing on a neutral court as we get started with the tournament season here, Josiah. Yeah, it's nice to see these you know, home fans get an opportunity to cheer for their team. Um, but as you said, just really exciting time now. You know, both teams, you know, it's big. You know, you have to win or you go home. Yep. Yep. So it should be a good game tonight. Looking forward to a competitive matchup. Of course, these teams met in the tournament last season. It was Fort Recovery coming up with the win over Upper Scioto Valley and advancing to the district semifinal where they were uh, eventual losers to Marion Local. And what was a pretty low scoring affair. And we expect that this also could be a pretty low scoring affair as Fort Recovery controls the basketball to get things started. And Fort Recovery being patient there, running their offense, getting the ball into everyone's hand, back and forth, side to side as quickly as it can as USV is doing a good job of switching those screens early. Neither team really in any hurry to attack the rim. And we're going to have a... I thought like we had a foul. Apparently we didn't. Ball just went out of... Yeah, it looked like the... Think might be a kickball. Kickball? Okay. Yep. It's like I'm going through my head. I didn't actually see what happened. Even though I'm watching the game, <laughs> I, I promise you. Still Indian basketball. Now taking it in strong. Here's Briggs Overman for the first basket of the day. Yeah, Brady Overman seeing that... Or Briggs Overman seeing that space there. On the wing, it attacks the rim quickly out of that out of bounds play. Two easy points for for recovery. That strong take looked good there by Maddox Underwood, but couldn't get it to fall. Rebound controlled by Rex Leverett. A bit of a trap there. Nice pass and the ball stripped away. USV up and running. Here is Underwood. A little bit of a Euro step. Lays it in with the right hand. Yeah, Maddox Underwood. Good control of his body there. Fakes to the right. Goes to the left a little bit. A little underhand layup. Two points to tie this ball game. Underwood, one of the leading scorers in the team. 15.9 points a contest. Just one tenth of a percent behind Alex Sanders. A turnaround jump shot, no good. Rebound by USB. Underwood brings it back up. Mason Thompson. Now driving, passing out of trouble. Here's a 17 footer off the mark. Rebound, corralled. Cutter Damon. Now that shot by Max Underwood. A miracle range three pointer is up and good. Yeah, one of the best times to shoot a three is off of that offensive rebound. Good job there by Hunter Damron to get the ball and find his teammate for the open three. Pass off off the attack. Leverett has the ball stripped away. They're going to call a tie-up. Possession arrow favoring USV, I believe. The possession arrow is a little dim, but I can make it out. And we see Fort Recovery and a little bit of a 1-3-1 one, one pressure. But USV is able to break it pretty easily. As Maddox Underwood is getting some instruction from his coach, Dre White. Directing traffic there momentarily by the Ram Horn. Now looking down low, finds Alex Sanders. Sanders up off the glass and in. Yeah, Alex Sanders using that strong frame to attack the rim. Two points as Fort Recovery quickly back. Overman with a spin shot, no good. Leverett with the rebound and unable to stay with it. Sanders gets it going coast to coast and lays it in with the left hand. And that is going to force a timeout. 
here with 4.38 remaining, a 30-second timeout. We'll take it as well. It's 9-2, to two, the home team, when we come back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Wamash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And our free throw sponsor is Critton Aerial Applications, provide you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page, Critton Aerial Applications. No free throws yet, but plenty of field goals here as Upper Side of Valley holding on to a 9-2 lead. Here, just about at the halfway point of this first quarter. Yeah, we've seen Alex Sanders, the last two possessions for USV, attack the rim quickly as for recovery. Good offensive possession coming out of that timeout. Levert with a nice turnaround jumper to end the 9-0 run by USV. And now playing a tough defense, and then that ball swatted away. Troy Homan getting in on the action and lays it up and in. And a quick 4-0 response for for recovery out of that timeout. Like to get those easy steals, easy buckets. And they've done that here the last two possessions. Under the directing traffic. Andrew Kendall controlling the basketball now in also Hunter Dameron. Nice no look, Underwood taking a strong, quickly double teamed. Three ball on the way by Andrew Kendall, no good. Miracle Lane's three pointer off the mark. And the Indians are running right underneath all by himself. He gets that one to drop. Brody Bargy. And just like that, it's a one point USV lead. Shot by Sanders, I think, was partially deflected. Yeah, for recovery on a 6-0 run here. Good timeout by Coach Leverett. Trying to calm his boys down, and they've responded here out of this timeout. Indeed they have. Here's nice take left side, just a little bit too strong. Sanders with the rebound. And Sanders is going to be stopped, and the foul assessed to Bargy, I believe. It's going to be his first. Well, we'll wait for him to... foul on Brody Barchi. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I've taken pass it out looking for a seam there. There's a Miracle Lane three-pointer. That one by Sanders is a little long, but USB with the rebound. Underwood controls with 2.23 remaining in the first quarter. And almost getting the steal was Bargy. Yeah, we've seen full recovery. Pick up the pressure here on the defensive end, using that length to get their hands on a couple of these passes here. Just making it difficult for USB to run their offense. Indeed, they've had to work really hard to pass, even get open shots and trying to pass and find something, and that ball is going to be off of Fort Recovery. Good. Referee Scott Nurse right there in on the call. Basketball controlled by Bo Sanders. Passes it off to Underwood, we're under two minutes. Turn around by Sanders, can't get that one to go. And the putback, rather Sanders with the putback, Bo Sanders. Yeah, Bo Sanders coming off the bench, making an instant impact on the offensive glass there. Gets the rebound, puts it up right away. Gives the USV a three-point lead. Gives it up, now Alex Hughes. Pass it off, set a pick, Bargy controlling it now. Looking inside, there finds Leverett, and pass, ball stolen away. Here's Sanders on the run. Alex, offensive foul.
To the first one on Alex Sanders. Team's first. Yeah, good take there by Troy Homan to get back on the defensive end, get himself in a good position. Fisher was standing right there. Called the infraction. The ball goes back to the Indians. Down to the final minute of the first quarter. Three-point lead for USD. Playing ball tipped away. Another turnover forced by the Ram defense. And now here's Underwood spinning. And the foul. It's going to be on Troy Homan, his first. And that's going to put Underwood at the line for a couple of Critton aerial applications, three free throws. And he hits the first one. Underwood, 69% from the charity stripe, almost 70%. The second most prolific foul shooter on the team. He knocks them both down. Five-point lead for the Rams. Bargy in trouble, gets the ball back. Bit underneath, and right there, able to get around and put it in. Gavin Evers with the bucket. Yeah, full recovery. Almost coming away with a steal there. Here's a Miracle Lane three-pointer. That one is a little long. And I have a foul going the other way. They're going to get Mason Thompson. That's his first. Briggs Overman checks back into the contest for full recovery. Ball passed up. Troy Holman has it. Holman, no look. Pass underneath. Looking for Evers, and Evers misses, but. He is fouled, he'll head to the line. Yeah, full recovery, having a little success against this pressure. USV's trying to ramp it up the last minute here. But they've been able to get to the rim. Opportunity for Evers here to cut this lead down. First Critton free throw is good. That's the second foul on Mason Thompson. So he will head to the bench. Possibly for the remainder of the half. We'll see what Coach Dre White decides to do. Second Critton free throw is no good. USB, look like they're gonna push the issue here. Final seconds, two seconds. Need to get a shot off, they do. Long Miracle Wings three-pointer is no good. At the end of one, it's a close one here at Alumni Fieldhouse, 13 to 11, USB on top. Second quarter, when we come back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Our three-point sponsor tonight is Miracle Lane. Stop in before or after the game at Miracle Lane's in Port Recovery and enjoy great bowling, fun, food, and friends. It's not a miracle. It's Miracle Lane's. Second quarter of the sectional semifinal here at Upper Scioto Valley. Just about to get started. The USV with a 13-11 lead. Patrick Gambler, Josiah Stover here calling all of the action, and it was a great start for USV. Got out to a 9-2 uh, start, but Fort Recovery took a very strategic timeout, and now it's only a two-point game. Yeah, Fort Recovery was able to get back into that game, and it started all on the defensive end, getting a couple steals, getting some easy layups, pushed themselves back into this game. Now, as you said, only a two-point game here now to start this second quarter. As full recovery looked like they had an opportunity for a layup, but ball goes out of bounds to USV. Rams will have the basketball, and Troy Holman not enthused with the prospect of diving headfirst into the stands, and I don't blame him. Not a lot of real estate once you leave your feet over there in that part of the court. Underwood, the basketball, pulls up, 20-footer, splashdown. Four-point Ram lead, 15 to 11. Yeah, good possession there out of the quarter. Timeout there. 
Maddox Underwood finding himself with a little bit of space coming off of that Alexander screen. Knocks down the long two to extend this lead to four. Working around is Dews now to Overman. Overman the leading scorer for the Indians, averaging 9.5 points a contest. Nice pass off to Evers, high off the glass, can't get it to go. Sanders brings in the rebound, played tightly by Evers, but he takes it coast to coast and lays it in. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times tonight. Alex Sander getting the rebound, taking it coast to coast. Nobody stepping in front of him Holman for the easy two. Gives it up to Evers, shot doesn't go. Holman gets the put back around the rim and out. Maybe third time to the charm. Miracle Lane's three-pointer on the way by Dews, and that is no good. And once again, not willing to dive out there, and I don't blame him. <laughs> USC basketball. Sometimes you have to look and go, are the people going to catch me <laughs> if I do it? Yeah, I don't think those uh, stands have much cushion on them. That, that is for sure. And Sanders will pull up just inside the three-point line around the rim and out. Yeah, really good boxing out by four recovery. Ball almost hit the ground. As four recovery comes right back, the ball rolls. I think it touched every part of that rim. Uh, yeah. It just rolled out and we got a foul on four recovery. Ball goes back to USV. Four recovery foul. So for recovery foul, their first in the second quarter. Now Underwood controlling the basketball top of the key. More patience on this possession for the Rams. Dameron has it. Thought about putting it up. Decides to pass it off for recovery's defense very quick and closing in on that particular portion. Now here's Sanders underneath, blocked. And the foul as Reese Guggenbiller getting in there on the block and got a little bit more than the basketball. Yeah, good patience there by the Rams. Looked like a couple times like they were going to put up the shot, but decides to work it around and Sanders finds Sanders underneath for the opportunity now as he knocks down the first free throw. Critton aerial free throw up and good. Sanders 53% from the foul line this season. Second Critton free throw is good. So far the only points scored in this second quarter have been by USV. Port recovery has been held scoreless in the first couple of minutes of the second quarter, and that ends right there with Gavin Fowler. For recovery, comes back in that 1-3-1, one, three, one, three quarter pressure. But USV is once again is able to break it. Maddox Underwood not in any hurry. Gets the offensive set. Swinging around, looking for Sanders on the block. Takes it in, nice move around the left hand. Got his man up, put it in. Holman kick out, Miracle Lane's three ball, not good. Underwood getting directions from Dre White. Now set up the offense, going up on the halfway point of this Second quarter. Long pass to Dameron. Thought about the three ball. Instead he gives it up. Now we've seen this last couple of possessions. USV really slowing it down. Trying to get the attack here as Sanders pulls up. Just rolls out and ball goes back to the Indians. Going to start having to keep track of the number of basketballs that go almost all the <laughs> way down and then pop back up. For both sides, we've had quite a few of those. Here's a Miracle Lane's three ball on the way. That one, no good. Sanders with a rebound, and Dre White's going to call 
a timeout. We will take it as well. 3.31 remaining in the first half. It's an eight-point USB lead. You're watching high school boys basketball action on WOSN. Three thirty-one remaining in the second quarter. It's an eight-point lead for USV. Port recovery, only one field goal so far here in the second quarter, and USV calling that timeout. A little unsteady following the the rebound. Might not have liked the numbers in any case. In any case, uh, it might have been a situation where maybe Coach White thought traveling might be about to be called and decided to do that to preserve the possession. Yeah, it's really a strong rebound by Bo Sanders. But also an opportunity now. Coach White's been really slowing down the offense, trying to get them into the sets, as we see here. Just telling Maddox Underwood to just be patient, get into the sets that they want. And they've had a lot of success so far. Yeah, USV has slowed the pace down, at least on offense, in this second quarter. And it's paid off for them. They have an eight-point lead and looking for more. Looking inside and pass intercepted by Guggenbiller. Now a scrum for the basketball, controlled by Fort Recovery. Holman kicks out. Miracle Lane's three ball is good. Guggenbiller finally gets a three-pointer to count for Fort Recovery, and that cuts the lead to five. Yeah, big shot there by Guggenbiller. Really, as you said, just uh, had to kind of stop this USV run there. And now an opportunity here is the Indians slow it down as they bring it up the court, see if they can cut into this five-point lead. A shot by Guggenbiller, the first three ball hit by any team, and now a scrum for the basketball. Bargey and Sanders fighting for it, and it'll get a tie up. And a possession arrow, I believe, is favoring USV. So the Rams will get the basketball back. 2.04 remaining in the first half. And looking inside to Sanders. Can't get it to go. Now for recovery opportunity to cut further into the lead. Here's Holman taking it strong to the rack up and in. Now Troy Holman doing a good job there catching the ball at the elbow and attacking that rim strong. Takes one dribble, makes the easy layup here as USB comes right back. Nice pass there and Bargy with the block but also with the foul on Underwood. Bargy's second. That'll be the team's third. Putting Underwood back to the line. Critton Ariel free throw is up and good. Second Critton Ariel free throw is up and good. USB doing some damage from the foul line. They've only got one more field goal than Fort Recovery has in the second quarter. But they've been able to get to the charity stripe a few more times than the Indians have so far here in the second quarter. And we see Fort Recovery here just taking their time, running their offense here. Holman looking for a lane, finds Holman. Holman quickly backs out as we come under a minute in the second quarter. Looking for Bargy underneath, feeds him, and he's open. Three-point USV lead, 47 seconds left in the first half. Yeah, Brody Bargy doing some work down in the paint, using that size to gain some advantage there, and knocks down the easy bucket. Miracle Lane's three-pointer underway by Underwood, and he drops it. Six-point lead for the Rams. That yeah, big bucket there by Maddox Underwood. As we see Fort Recover gaining a little momentum as they get right back to it as Rex Leverett knocks down the two. 
Four point advantage for USV. They have the basketball at 11 seconds. Sanders back to Underwood. Gets instructions from Coach White. Here we go, Dameron. Two seconds, Underwood puts it up. Miracle Lane, three ball at the buzzer. Knocks it down. And a big momentum boost as we head to halftime. It's a seven point lead for USV at half. We'll be back for the third quarter. You're watching High School Boys sectional semifinal action here on WOSN. Halftime wrapping up here from Alumni Fieldhouse, USV with a 29-22 lead as we head into the third quarter. Patrick Kamler, Josiah Stober in a, a terrific end to the sec first half. Well, if you're an Upper Side of Valley fan, it was terrific. Maddox Underwood hitting a three-pointer to go from a four to a seven-point lead. And we'll see how much uh, or if any that matters here as we head into the second half of the contest tonight. Yeah, we'll start to see some of the adjustments both teams make here as for USV coming back. Number 22, Mason Thompson's back in the game. Had two fouls there, had to sit out most of the first half. As we see Fort Cover getting on the offensive glass once again. Third time is the charm as Leverett able to put that one in. Court recovery kicking off the scoring in the beginning of the second half, much like the beginning of the first half. As the teams switch sides of the court, and that shot blocked by Guggenbiller. And that will reset the offense for the Rams. Underwood, nice pull up. That one just a little short. Leverett with the rebound. Gives it up to Homan. Leverett, long cross court pass. But Overman got in a little bit of trouble, passes it off to Homan. Yeah, we see USV coming out in this 2 3 zone. That's for recovery. Oh, this is the long shot. Shot high off the back iron. Sanders with the rebound. Dameron had a shot in the corner, decides to drive in. Double team shot blocked. Not sure if it was uh, Fowler or Leverett who got that one. It was one of them. Big block shot. Nice quick pass underneath, and it's Leverett putting that one in. Yeah, good passing there by Ford Recovery. Finding Leverett down low on the post. Goes up for the easy two, but that quick ball movement got through this USV Rams 2-3 zone. Good start for the Indians to begin the third quarter. Seven point lead back down to three. As it's the Rams now looking for their first point still of the third quarter. Dameron having to give it up. Looking for the play to develop with Underwood. He'll just pull up just inside the three-point line. That shot no good. Leverett with the rebound. Nice Chance four. to tie here for the Indians. Ball going out of bounds. Last touch by the Indians. Yeah, we've seen Fort Cover doing a good job early on the glass. In that first half, had the advantage on the offensive glass and cleaning up the boards. And Fortunately, turns the ball over as they had an opportunity to cut into this three-point lead. Thought about finishing there to Andrew Kendall. That three ball, Miracle Lane's three-pointer by Underwood is good. Now they ended the second quarter, they begin the third with a three-pointer. Yeah, Maddox Underwood with 20 points here early in the third quarter. Four threes on the night so far. And the ball stripped away, but the foul will be called on Alex Sanders. That's his second. And no surprise if you're a USV fan, Underwood and Alex Sanders combining for 30 of their 32 points. 
Miracle Lane's three ball in the corner, no good. Another second chance there by Leverett to put that one up and in, and that's something Fort Recovery's been able to do is not just get second opportunities, but capitalize on them. Yeah, as you saw there, you know, on the offensive glass, using that length, one of the advantages Fort Recovery has coming in tonight is using that those long frames to get on the offensive glass, and they've done that very well here as a good pass into Alex Sanders for the easy two. Sanders with 12 points, back to a six-point lead, 34-28. A little bit more of a quick start offensively for both sides here in this quarter. Bargy turnaround jumper is good. Everybody's warmed up now. Bargy with six points off the bench for Fort Recovery. There's a Miracle Lane's three ball. That one long by Kendall. Overman taking it up strong. Short, probably looking for a foul. Contact, doesn't get it. Rams, Dameron, three ball, no good. Miracle Lane three-pointer, no good. Sanders will try Miracle Lane three-pointer, and they're splashed down. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times tonight on offensive rebounds. This Rams team having the shooters step out on that three-point line, finding them out wide, and knocking down the big threes. Good ball movement, Miracle Lane's three ball. That one off the uh, the backboard, rather. And a foul that could be the third on Mason Thompson. It is. But he will stay in the game. Bo Sanders checks in for USV. Fort Recovery basketball, 2.52 remaining in the third quarter. A seven point lead for USV on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Here's Homan, drive kick out to over and back to Homan. Homan driving and looking. Gives it up and the ball was well, stripped away but a foul gonna be called. That's gonna go against Max Underwood, that's his first. And that is the third team foul. Well, they bounce before recovery. Leverett around the rim and uh, gets it to go. Yeah, good play out of that, out of bounds play. Finding the cover, cu cutting Leverett for about the four foot shot and he's able to knock it down, cut this lead to five. 12 points for him tonight. And as you said, it's down to a five-point lead. Here's a Miracle Lane's three ball up and no good. Max Underwood looking for a foul, and he is going to get a technical called on him. He was uh, talking to the official, and I don't exactly know what he said, but probably pushed his luck a little bit. So that's going to... Give a couple of crit and aerial free throws to Fort Recovery and then they'll get the basketball. So a potential significant turning point here in this one. Briggs Overman at the line, missing the first crit and free throw. Overman 64.8% from the charity stripe this season, knocks that one down. So they'll get one, they'll get the basketball. Homan passing it off, Overman. Leverett now back to Homan. Homan met with a bunch of Rams. Here is Overman with the Miracle Lane's three ball. Oh, good pass there by Tro Troy Holman as he finds the cutting Overman. Wide open for the three and cuts this to a one point lead. So big swing here in the last minute with that technical call. Four point play essentially is that shot by Sanders. No good second chance opportunity as that one is swatted out, but he will be fouled. Sanders. 
So that will put Sanders back in the line. A couple of crit and aerial free throws. He hits the first. Gavin Evers checking back into the contest. Leverett will have a seat. Second crit and free throw is no good. Bargy corrals the rebound. Chance for full recovery to tie or take the lead on this possession. If they do, it would be the first time that they have been able to tie or take the lead since, well, the very first basket of the game. He just had it, Bargy feeding down low. Pass able to be saved by the Indians. Looking underneath for Holman. Brown, the defense, second chance opportunity, and another foul. Now, once again, full recovery on the offensive glass. A missed shot, and you have three or four Indians attacking that offensive rim. Once again, now we got number 30, Breaker Judy, stepping to the line to see if he can tie this ball game up. Quentin free throw about to be on the way. And that one no good. Judy, 53% from the charity stripe this season. 8 of 15, so not a ton of opportunities. This will be his 10th uh, game that he has played this season. The freshman seeing some action in the postseason. That second Quentin free throw is good. One point lead for USV and they just saw hands on, or by Ever. It is. That's his first. Team second as we come under 45 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Sanders shot off the mark and out of bounds. It will go back to Fort Recovery. Now we've seen USV's offense kind of stall here in the last couple minutes, not getting the open shots. They've come so accustomed to early in this game. For recovery, just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now down by one, opportunity with a bucket to take the lead. Bargy passes it off, but intercepted. Sanders looking to go all the way, and now in trouble decides to put it up. And that will send him to the line. And there was uh, enough on that play for both sides to be upset if you want to go that direction. <laughs> Ebers has assessed the foul. That'll put USV at the line. Sanders. Critton aerial free throw is no good. Coach Leverett making some substitutions. Evers and Judy will head out. Guggenbiller checks back in, along with Overman. Second crit and free throw, no good. Corralled by full recovery. Here's Bargy taking it up and in, and it will be a foul and a shooting foul. And I believe that will be number three on Alex Sanders. Line shooting to. I believe you're right. If that's who they give it to, that would be his third. Looks like they, they did. Bargy at the line. First crit and aerial free throw is good. And this one is tied for the first time since 2-2. For Gary substitution, great for Judy. USB substitution, Mason Thompson. Bargy, 35% from the charity stripe this season. Also, not a ton of opportunities, but he hits those two right there. Crit free throw is good. And Fort Recovery has their first lead, or their second lead of the night, their first since they scored the first basket of the contest. 11 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Sanders, strong take to the basket, and he's fouled. I believe it's going to be Guggenbiller, I believe. Yep, that's his second. Team's fourth, that puts Sanders back at the line. Alex Sanders. Crit and aerial free throw is good.
Second crit aerial free throw is good. And that puts USV back on top with five seconds remaining. And Coach White taking out Alex Sanders. Don't want him to pick up that fourth foul here with only five seconds to go. Now four seconds. Leverett taking it up, putting it up at the buzzer. That one is no good. Three of the books here from USV for recovery, storming back, but still trailing by one, 40 to 39. The fourth quarter coming up when we come back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And our three-point sponsor is Miracle Lane. Stop in before or after the game at Miracle Lanes in Fort Recovery and enjoy great bowling, fun, food, and friends. It's not a miracle. It's Miracle Lanes. Fourth quarter, ready to get started here. Region, or sorry, sectional semifinal. I'm getting ahead of myself, Josiah Stover. Sectional semifinal action here from Alumni Fieldhouse. Always a nice place to call a basketball game. USV with a one-point lead on Fort Recovery. The Indians having a nice third quarter, outscoring USV 17 to 11. Uh, briefly had the lead in this one, and it looks like the fourth quarter is shaping up to be a pretty back and forth affair. Yeah, well, Fort Recovery in that third quarter really controlled the glass, getting multiple opportunities. Each possession did a really good job of attacking that glass and shot there by USV, but a good rebound by Gavin Fowler. Underwood raises up, can't knock that one down. Homan passes it off, gets it back. Thought the crowd would be kind of subdued for this one. I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking. It's been pretty uh, hyped for this one, and we're going to have a foul quickly here. I believe that was called on Andrew Kendall. That's his first. Quite a few fouls in the third quarter, nine between the two teams. And that could have a bearing on how this one wraps up as well. Fort Recovery chance to retake the lead on this possession. Overman having to pass it off. Holman takes it up and strong and puts the Indians back on top. Yeah, Troy Holman drives hard on that baseline, goes up over three USV defenders and able to knock down the bucket to give a one point lead to the Indians. There's a miracle lane three ball. That one is short into the hands of Overman and off to the races. Underwood trying to track him at the end, does just enough to stop the momentum and Overman kind of forced up a bad shot, kind of a rush shot. And here is Kendall with the Miracle Lane three ball and a needed shot there by Upper Sayota Valley. Yeah, only the fourth player to score for this Rams. Only five points combined outside of Sanders and Underwood. And nice answer on the other side there by that's going to be Troy Holman again. He has eight points, and yeah, as you mentioned, the bulk of the scoring has been done by Alex Sanders and Maddox Underwood for USV. They have 38 of the 43 points scored by USV, as that is the score, 43 all right now on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Sanders giving it up. Here's Kendall again, Miracle Wings, three ball, and knocks it down. With contact. Well, Andrew Kendall stepping up here in this fourth quarter, knocking down two big threes back to back to extend this U.S. lead back to three. A sophomore injecting some energy into the alumni field house. And can full recovery respond? Get underneath, able to hang on to it. Leverett thought about the Miracle Lane three-pointer, dribbles in, 14-footer is no good. Ball stripped away, rebound by Mason Thompson. And USV deciding to slow it down, getting some instruction from Coach White. 
As the ball is in hands, passes it over to Mason Thompson, and almost over Mason Thompson. Free ball and fouled in the process to the Miracle Lane three-pointer, and that will send Underwood to the line to shoot three. Troy Holman assessed his second foul, and Fort Recovery might have gotten away with one on the push a little bit on the Andrew Kendall three-pointer, but the officials uh, don't let it happen a second time as the Critton Ariel free throw is up and in. Second Critton Ariel free throw is up and good. Twenty-two points tonight for Maddox Underwood. Make it twenty-three. And a timeout on the court. A six-point lead once again for USV. Four forty-seven remaining. We'll be back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Our free throw sponsor is Critton Aerial Applications. They provide you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page. Search for Critton Aerial Applications. Upper side of the valley with a 6-0 run to re-extend their lead, 49-43. And for recovery now, looking for an answer. And Andrew Kendall, three-pointer, and then three free throws by Maddox Underwood have extended that lead. And we'll have a foul on the floor. That's gonna be on Bo Sanders, his first. Winner of this contest is matched up in a sectional final with the winner of Ridgemont New Bremen, which looks like it's going to be New Bremen, the nine and 13 New Bremen squad pulling off a mild upset over Ridgemont. Ridgemont the four seed in this uh, district. So if the scores hold on, it would be New Bremen taking on upper side of the Valley. A tremendous matchup, but if Fort Recovery can stage a comeback, they'll be taking on the Cardinals. As Overman puts that one up and in eight points for him, that cuts it back down to a four point lead. Yeah, we've seen this tonight for recovery. Answering, coming out of those timeouts. Able to get a big basket to cut in this lead. Now it's a four-point game for the Rams as Maddox Underwood starts to direct his team. And we got a foul on Fort Recovery, number 32, Brody Bargy. Bargy gets his third. Second on the team. Underwood inbounds underneath, looking for Sanders. Sanders scoops around and shot no good. Second chance is not good. Also, Bargy with the rebound, as that's been the case for some, and then a turnover as Bargy and Leverett unable to connect. And those are the plays that, if you're for recovery, simply can't happen. Yeah, really an unforced error as Bargy had control of the ball, just not able to connect with his teammate. Ball goes back to USV. Opportunity for them to take a little bit of time off the clock here, run their offense. Under with the basketball, 337 remaining. USV with a four point lead, looking to hang on, and look at that. No ball stop whatsoever. Underwood will head to the line once again to shoot two. As the foul on, I believe. Yep, Leverett. Underwood back of the line for a crit and aerial free throw, and he knocks that down. Yeah, Maddox Underwood on that last possession, just able to see the lane there, attack the rim, and no full recovery. Defender stepped over, so. Opportunity here, big free throw at the end of this timeout. Timeout on the court with 3.31 remaining. Hey, as a reminder, you can stream the WLSN channel anytime, anywhere 
for only $8 a month. You can download from Roku or Apple TV, or you can sign up at app.wosn.tv. I know that with tournament season upon us that there are a lot of people who like to watch relatives playing basketball and they're out of town. In fact, we had someone before this game uh, come up and say there was someone in Florida that they uh, knew that wanted to watch the basketball game. We were helping uh, them understand how they could do that. So you can do that too. So pass that along. 50 to 45 the lead here for USV and as you look at it, really the last couple of minutes, it's been free throws. USV has been able to use to extend that lead. Yeah, Maddox Underwood hitting his last four free throws to really extend this lead for the Rams. You know, but it's been for recovery. A couple turnovers there, you know, unforced turnovers, you know, kind of hindered them to their attack to get back into this game. So we'll see out of timeout. They've done a really good job of really responding mm -hmm. out of these timeouts. So we'll see what Coach Leverett has for the Indians coming out of this timeout. The second Critton aerial free throw is up and good. Six point lead once again for USV. And now Fort Recovery looking for an answer. Miracle Lane's three ball in the corner, no good. The ball is going to be saved by Leverett from going out of bounds. Off of Google Biller's attempted three pointer. Holman looking for some type of lane. He passes it off to Bargy. Overman has it. Fight for possession and keeps it. Now Holman working the defense and an offensive foul. And Maddox Underwood doing a good job of staying in front of Troy Holman. As Troy Holman lowered his shoulder. Both officials right there calling that foul. Ball goes back to USV. Under three minutes, really in no rush here. Want to get a good shot. Third foul on Homan. That's the fourth on Fort Recovery. So USV will be shooting foul shots from here on out. That's another part of the calculus here as they have a six point lead, two and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Underwood passing it off. And as we saw earlier in the contest, USV in no rush offensively. And Holman will commit the foul. And that will put Underwood at the line for two more. Yeah, and that's not the one you want to put at the free throw line. <laughs> it's already made what, nine free throws on the night, I believe, unofficially. Hey, As you I chased him. him. Yeah. <laughs> Critton aerial free throw is no good. 70% from the charity stripe this season is Underwood. The only guy who's taken more free throws on this team is Alex Sanders, as the second Critton aerial free throw is in. And back up to a seven point lead for USV. Thought about a three ball, and now Homan gets it, cutting inside, passes it out. And the defense has been stout here in the fourth quarter for USV. Here's a Miracle Lane three-pointer around the rim and out. And another foul that's going to be against Bargy, I believe. And that's his fourth. Now will put Mason Thompson at the line. 54% this season. Critton aerial free throw is good. Second Critton aerial free throw is up and no good. Bargy with the rebound. And it's been free throws that have pushed this lead out for Upper Sayota Valley. Step back shot is off. Tried to save it, did lever it, but into the hands of Underwood. And now with a minute and a half remaining, you kind of get the sense that USV can put this one away with maybe another basket or maybe another trip, successful trip to the foul line. And they're trying to foul Underwood, or at least trying to steal the ball away. 
Working it around, Sanders. And timeout called by Upper Scioto Valley. We'll take the timeout as well. 1.13 remaining in this one. The Rams with an eight-point lead here at sectional semifinal action on WOSN. Welcome back, 113 remaining in the fourth quarter, an eight point lead for USB. Rams on a 10 to two run right now, and seven of those points are at the foul line. Yeah, and Fort Recovery already at that five foul mark here, so any foul here, as you see, Fort Recovery trying to get the steal, and is that a turnover? Looked like they call a foul they, maybe yeah. prior to that ball. Kind of some good fortune there from the Rams. It looked like Andrew Kendall might have dribbled that out of bounds. Yeah, I think you're right. So Guggenbiller called for his third. That's going to put Andrew Kendall at the line. Six of 13 this season. Critton free throw, no good. Kendall, one of the uh, best. I'd say probably the best three-point shooter for Upper Scioto Valley, 48%. That's, uh, that's not bad. And uh, we saw that here earlier in the contest. He has, well, seven points now. Critton free throw is good. Came in off the bench. Two quick three-pointers that really helped USV kind of key to what appears to be a victory here tonight. Miracle Lane three-pointer on the way, no good. And the rebound by Underwood, and that should just about wrap this one up as that's going to be the fifth foul on Troy Homan. So Homan fouls out with eight points. And that'll put Underwood back at the line. Underwood could be well on his way to being our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Leading all point scorers with 26 points tonight. But really, that's just a fraction of what he has done for this basketball team tonight. First Critton aerial free throw is good. Last nine points for Upper Side of Valley in this quarter have all been from the foul line. Make it 10. Largest lead of the night, 56-45, 51 seconds remaining, and Overman's open layup doesn't go in, and that's kind of been how it's been in the fourth quarter here for the Indians. Leverett called for the foul. That's his second. And now Sanders will get some free throws. Critton aerial free throw is good. Coaches are going to watch the end of this game and, and, and frame it or save it or something saying, look, if you want to close out basketball games, you close them out at the foul line. You get your opportunities, you sink them, and that's what the Rams have done in the last couple minutes of this contest. Yeah, I believe only in the second half have only missed two free throws here. So as you said, this has been really big as we'll see if Fort Recovery decides to just allow them to drill us out. That looks to be the case as we are down to 22 seconds. Alex Dew's playing some tight defense on Underwood, but that is gonna be it. Dews will take the steal if he can get it, but Final seconds tick off. Upper side of Valley has punched their ticket. Here they will move on to take on New Bremen in the sectional final. And that's going to wrap up the contest tonight. It's a 58-45 win for Upper Side of the Valley. We'll be back to wrap this one up and bring you the Stolly Hustle Award winner when we return on WOSN.
Welcome back, 58-45, the final upper side of Valley getting the victory over Fort Recovery. It's time to announce our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. Maddox Underwood for Upper Side of Valley, our Stolly Hustle Award winner. 28 of the 58 points by Upper Side of Valley were scored by him. Alex Sanders chipping in 20 more, but it was Maddox Underwood really uh, doing a lot of different things. It's not always that you scored the most points, but he was a, a catalyst for this team at key moments. Yeah, you know, the point guard for this team handles the ball a lot. As you saw, took care of the ball, you know, at the end, you know, was the man knocking down those free throws. And as you said earlier, it's so important to finish out these games. You got knocked down free throws, went 12 for 13 from the free throw line, hit four threes on the night. So as you said, does a little bit of everything, gets on the floor, rebounds well for this team. But our Stolly Hustle Award winner for tonight is number 23, Maddox Underwood. And also upper side of Valley finishing uh, 12 of their last 13 free throws went in. 12 of their last 15 points of the game were at the line. So uh, again, if you want to finish a contest and finish something out, you hit your free throws. That's what Upper Side of Valley did tonight. Again, congratulations to Maddox Underwood, our Stolly Hustle Award winner this evening. That is going to wrap up our broadcast tonight from Alumni Fieldhouse as Upper Side of Valley moves on. They will take on New Bremen in the sectional final coming up on Friday. One more time, 58 to 45, Upper Side of Valley over for recovery. The Rams move on for our entire WOSN staff. And Josiah Stober, I'm Patrick Candler saying so long everyone from McGuffey.